If you missed it over the weekend, we've got some cool pictures of the Northern Lights in Ohio. Check it out. We've shared these images online and on air all weekend. Just amazing, visible with a camera from backyards throughout central Ohio. And we're tracking the chances perhaps later this week. We saw tracking the chance again later Thursday into Thursday. That was the best chance. Madison Reich has more on the chances for seeing them later on this week. Yeah, we've seen a lot of beautiful photos from this weekend. Saturday night was definitely the peak and best opportunity to see these beautiful northern lights. We did see another spike as we headed into Sunday. Now things though really starting to calm down. We had several uh, solar storms back to back and that's what really increased those chances to see the Aurora as far south as Ohio. But as we head through the rest of this week, uh, we're looking at decreasing chances for that. So Monday we're down to active but low. This gives some spots in the country a chance to see some additional brief looks at the northern lights. But once we get past Tuesday and into Wednesday, we see this drop off and go back down two weeks. So hopefully you got out to see it. Going to be keeping an eye out. I'm going to be watching next time. I think a lot of people will be watching because those who missed it were so bummed. Yeah. But I said it, it saves you a trip to Iceland. You don't have to go yeah. now. There you <laughs> go. We saw it. Saw it. it was beautiful. It. Yeah. Where were you? when you We were here. Yeah. I was it. here. Yeah. We all went upstairs to the rooftop and uh, you could see it. A slightly like look like a cloud, yeah. but then when we took pictures of it, that's when the picture showed. Popped. The, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the colors yeah. really popped, and you saw it more. What? Wonder why that is? Uh, just maybe the aperture of the camera right. had a little yeah. bit more sensitivity, especially here yeah. in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, my daughter was in Dublin. She did the light pollution. There was just too many lights yeah, in too around much light, Dublin. Yeah. But uh, some spots, talking to Angela, it's it's very difficult to predict weather on Earth. Yeah. A little more difficult to predict weather in space. But one of the things to think about, the northern lights, you saw that graphic that Madison showed. Mm -hmm. It's not a blanket, meaning if you're at the red line, everybody can see it everywhere. Yeah. It's dynamic, it's moving, it's yeah. energy. If you think of an older light bulb, mm -hmm. an incandescent light bulb, mm -hmm. there's gas inside of there that's getting energized by, you know, flip the switch yeah. on. Yeah, how cool. But in that case, it's confined to a little light bulb. In the case of the atmosphere, it is global, yes. and it just you just cannot predict exactly where and exactly when. So yeah. we might have a chance later this week. Fingers crossed. We need a couple of things to line up, but Very we'll let cool. you know. All right, move over, Bid Nye. We have our yeah. own science guy over here <laughs> breaking it down. Thanks, Jerry. Right. You betcha.